Home video, unfiltered, unedited, uncut video, take six. Is this our sixth one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys will have to let us know. Are you ready? You ready to tell them? We've been avoiding this. We actually have been avoiding telling them this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's time. Vaya que Dios. I don't even know what that means, but it's sounding so good. You guys, we're taking a little break. We're taking a break. Not from each other. No. And not from you, but from YouTube. Yeah, just a small little one. You want to tell them why? Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll just give you the brief thing. We've, we've been watching a few of our friends that are on YouTube mm -hmm. take some time off, and we've actually been planning this for a little while. That's why we've been yeah. avoiding telling you is because... Probably two months. <laughs> it's hard. It's scary to take a break because, you know, we love engaging, we love posting, we love encouraging, we love yeah. being a part of everything. But there's something that I've probably been the most convicted of lately is that it's hard, it's hard to be creative when you're constantly creating. Yeah. And with all the commitments we have regarding the two videos a week, regarding the seven daily devotionals a week, and all the other projects that are getting released this year, mm -hmm. um, we need time to like not only just connect and yeah. and connect and but and just decompress, but also to to be creative and to think about fun ideas that will hopefully bless you and bring God's kingdom down here to earth and. Yeah. I feel like we got a little caught up in the rat race of just keeping up with the content. Yeah. Um, which is like great. I'm very thankful that we had such a busy schedule because it, it kept our hands busy. Yeah. It kept people encouraged, which is yeah. a good thing. But I think it left us a little empty. Yeah. And we're taking some time to fill up. We're taking some time to, to rejuvenate and to get some fresh ideas because yeah. we, and I don't, forgive me for saying this, I never want to sound like a pompous, braggy person. Like, listen, I'm not like, everything that Tor and I want to do online is for you all. Trust me when I say that. Everything that we want to do online is for you all. But like, I want to do so much more than this, right? Like, I want, to, I want this to be so much more. Like, with what the Masters fam is currently doing and how people are connecting and meeting each other and like, our vision for like, potential meetups and retreats and books and all these other things I see is so much more yeah. and we just need some time to like build out these ideas and pray about them and ask God for discernment yeah. to lead us into those if it is his will if it's not to of course shut that door load yeah that well <laughs> we always say and y'all even say this that you can't pour from an empty cup and we actually just got back from the passion conference which was absolutely incredible but it was also really crazy because there were so many spiritual attacks even in just like getting us in the door of mm -hmm. passion for me in particular I feel like I was having probably like some of the most severe like anxiety emotional attacks yeah. that I had ever yeah. had I was like babe I literally cannot control my emotions right now and I just felt like I was spiraling even to the point where our manager Andrew who was there with us at Passion had this dream of all of these tornadoes swarming and when he was telling me about it I was like I feel like that was me last night emotionally where I just felt like my mind was going down all of these crazy spirals and I was getting so caught up in worry and anxiety and when you're in that place, what's convicting is it was showing how much I wasn't trusting God. And I think that at Passion, uh, one of the speakers, Ben Stewart, he was talking about how the root and the like weed that worry is, it can literally choke out the fruit in your life. Mm -hmm. And I felt so convicted because I was like, everything that we want to do is share the gospel and walk in the fruits of the spirit and if i'm bogged down by worry or anxiety it's literally gonna choke mm -hmm. that fruit out yeah. and then someone else said so i think it might have still been Vince Stewart who said this but he said the world is not going to be impressed if you preach the prince of peace but you are living inside of a world of stress. Yeah. And I was like, wow. That's super convicting. It was really convicting. And I just felt like, okay, mm. there are some things I really need to just give back to God and surrender and 
trust him enough to take some time off and yep. just be with him and listen because there mm -hmm. really is an attack on our attention and if the enemy can steal your attention and you are so distracted by so many things then you're not going to have the ability to focus on the thing that God's telling you to do yeah. um, and have that clarity and it's like you're going to see the promise, you can taste the promise, but you're going to be so distracted mm -hmm. that like you're never actually going to reach the promised land. And so I feel like for Chad and I, like we really just need to take <clears throat> a breather, disconnect, reconnect with the Lord, hear from Him, and that way when we come back, we'll come back with so much more strength and energy yeah. and joy and messages mm -hmm. to share and encourage you guys with. Um, yeah. yeah. And I, I think a little piece of encouragement and what Tori was saying as well is that you can even be distracted with like good things, good things and, yeah. and like godly like pursuits. movements and pursuits. Yeah. Those things can even be distracting if they aren't what God actually is asking you to do. Yeah. Um, because it just makes me think of when Jesus was was tempted after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and but, Satan said to him tell that rock to turn into a loaf of bread and like bread is not bad unless you're gluten intolerant right it's like it's not a bad thing but he said that man is not fed on bread alone but man is fed on every word out of God's mouth mm -hmm. and so we need to make sure that like we don't look at things that aren't inherently bad like oh like this daily devotional podcast or whatever it may be. It's like, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But if you're doing it the wrong way or out of empty cup, or you're not doing it out of obedience, then it could be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that we're operating that same way. Mm -hmm. And so, but all this is honestly like really good. Yeah. Like I feel good, even though I can't wait to like turn the camera off and turn the phone off and everything. Yeah. I feel really excited about this time. Yeah. I feel um, I feel, uh, expectant, you yeah. know? Um, and I mean, I'm also just excited, you know, for a trip. So <laughs> there's that too. He said, we're both so excited. Um, we, we've needed it and it's been how long since we've taken a break. Yeah. I mean like, like, like a true vacation, like an actual vacation where we didn't work. Yes. Like didn't work at all on the trip. Yes. Probably at our honeymoon. Hmm. It's almost been three years. It'll almost have been three years. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've taken vacations, but I feel like we'll like vlog them or we'll work mm -hmm. while we're there. And that's yeah. the benefit of doing what we do is, hey, mm -hmm. we can take a trip and we can take our work with us. So we're not saying that we're not very blessed in that. Mm -hmm. But when your job is social media, it's really hard to turn work off. Yeah. And so I think for us it's going to take some discipline to like genuinely just turn it all off. And just mm -hmm. so y'all know, like we are pre-recording the daily devotional podcast because we want you guys to still have those every 100. single day. And so the only, like we're taking YouTube off. So there won't be any videos next week and maybe not the week after. The week after. We're not really sure. We'll keep y'all updated on that, but yeah. we're just going to try to be obedient inside of that. Yeah. But what's cool about you guys and just so you know, we got to meet so many of y'all at Passion, and it was the coolest experience ever. Like, now that I'm looking at the screen, it's like I can see mm -hmm. all I your faces, too. and that's just so special to us. And I think I said that to, like, all of you when I It was mind-blowing is what it was. It was absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah. And I feel like because we started YouTube in such a weird time in the world, we never really got to do, like, meetups and different things like that. And so, you know, we just turn on the camera, and it's like we kind of see ourselves and we have an idea yeah. of who maybe hopefully we're talking to but actually seeing your faces and it changed knowing, it changed it for me yeah it just gave us like a entirely deeper sense of why mm. behind yeah. Yeah. everything and do. i think that's what gets me excited is that this doesn't feel um and this is not like there's no hidden messages in this at all but it doesn't feel like we're just debating what we're doing in life this feels like a, this is like, I don't want to say the calm before the storm, but this feels like, like, let's rest right now. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like God's really about to do something crazy mm -hmm. in a good way, like a good thing. Yeah. And I'm getting so excited for it. And I felt so excited with so many ideas after, after meeting you all in person yeah. that it just made it so much more real. 
It made yeah. it so much more real to like literally pray for someone, yeah, like in person and 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 hug people and say hello and hear your stories and hear your voices. That was super exciting for me. I we haven't even had a chance to really even decompress from it because we've just been boom, 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 boom everywhere. We literally got back last night and we leave in the morning. So yeah. We're, we're like, what is even happening yeah. right now? But I'm glad we booked the trip. It just, oh, yeah. we probably wish we had a little bit more time to prepare to leave. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I, I just, I'm really excited about this time because I, I honestly, I'm not going to say I can't wait to get back, but I can't wait to get back because yeah. I know that the stuff that we're going to be bringing with us to do in the future yeah. is, it's going to change so many things. We're like hopefully expectant because I feel like when you take that time to be still in the presence mm -hmm. of the Lord, He always meets you there. And so I'm like excited not only to process everything the Lord downloaded to us at Passion, but to also like hear God specifically for you guys and be able to like truly press into that. Like something that I really want to grow in this year is intercession and prayer. Oh, I don't know, Alex, God, when I say that. I don't know. <laughs> Tori's crazy, though. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't. I just get emotional thinking about the power of prayer and how God moves inside of that. Mm -hmm. And so, anyways, I'm, like, so excited to go to war in prayer over you guys because seeing y'all in person and y'all sharing things, like, Sometimes I just feel like we don't have a ton of time like, yes. to like journal and like truly be like so intentional over you guys in prayer. Like I know we do in our daily devotional podcast, like on the daily, but like over specific things. Yeah. And so just know how much we love you guys. Yeah. And as we take this break, yes, it's to fill our cups, but it's also to come back hopefully with an overflowing cup so we can encourage you guys more and better. And so, yeah. mm -hmm. I just imagine just buckets, just, <laughs> you know, like water hose. <laughs> you good, babe? Yeah, I'm good. I'm super emotional, guys. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of that's emotion coming out too, because we have been needing this. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're super excited. Um, can't wait to share with you about how the trip goes and how the downtime goes. Yeah. Um, and w we will probably integrate this more frequently in our schedule. Mm -hmm. That's one of the cool things about learning is that looking back at it, we're like, wow, we should have taken quite a few more breaks in there. Mm -hmm. Even though it would have cost us more money and probably not set us, we wouldn't be as set up financially, it would have, we would have been more mentally and emotionally set up. Set up. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you got to spend a little to, to save a little. Does that make sense? <laughs> spend a little money to save a little emotional uh, stability bandwidth, yeah. bandwidth yeah and yeah. so anyways can't wait to talk to you guys when we're back um love we love you so much we'll miss you we'll be we'll be talking to you once we're back we'll, we'll see y'all soon we'll see you when we're looking at you goodbye sayonara ciao arrivederci Tschüss. let's go on vacation let's go on vacation how do you say that in spanish we gotta get our babble. Love y'all. <laughs> do 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 do